This mission could one day save our planet. The image NASA didn't want to get from the deep impact probe showed us amazing details about the most dangerous celestial bodies in the entire solar system. We urgently need to know more about asteroids and comets if we want to protect our civilization in the long term. The next major impact is only a matter of time, and we need to be prepared. Probes have been exploring asteroids and comets for more than 20 years. If one day one of these chunks is on a collision course, we will hopefully have the perfect asteroid defense program. Just a few years ago, a small asteroid exploded over the Russian city of Chelyabinsk, damaging hundreds of buildings. In 2017, Oumuamua suddenly appeared on our radar screens. The object flew right past the Earth, and nobody had seen it coming. If it had been on a collision course, a collision with the approximately one kilometer long visitor could have ended in disaster for the Earth. In 2021, the asteroid Apophis flew close to Earth, and for a short time it looked as if it would hit us on its next visit in 2029. When the next asteroid will hit is only a matter of time. Time is of the essence and research for the Global Asteroid Defense Program is underway worldwide. Thanks to probes such as Deep Impact, Stardust, DART, and OSIRIS-REx, our means of defending ourselves are getting better and better. Deep Impact Mission – Collision with a Comet It sounds incredible, but comets could not only be deadly projectiles from space, but also heavenly messengers of life. In addition to ice, these chunks are probably made up of many organic materials, and the ice from these celestial bodies could have once brought all the water to Earth. As beautiful and magical as comets like Helbop or Ison are, they are also dangerous. If one hits our civilization, entire cities can be destroyed, and in the worst case, very large comets can cause global devastation and mass extinction of species. Deep Impact was a NASA parade mission and the prelude to what is now becoming a global alliance of comet and asteroid defense. The probe set off on January 12, 2005. Its target was the comet Temple 1, a chunk of ice and dust with a diameter of around 6 kilometers. The mission aimed to drop an impactor on the comet to explore its interior and composition, further deepening our understanding of the structure of this fascinating and ancient celestial body. Temple 1 provided a unique opportunity to study a relatively young comet that has only been coming close to the Sun regularly for about 10,000 years. On July 4, 2005, Deep Impact reached its target, hitting the comet at a speed of about 10.2 kilometers per second and kicking up a spectacular ejection of material. During the impact, sensors and ultra-fine measuring instruments recorded all the data in the vicinity of the impact and scientists recognized details of the composition just below the surface for the first time. The mission provided detailed images of the comet's surface before the impact, revealing smooth plains, deep trenches, and high cliffs on Temple 1. It was fascinating to see the landscape of a comet in such detail and realism for the first time. Analysis of the ejecta showed that the comet has a porous structure consisting of a mixture of ice, dust, and complex organic compounds. The nickname Dirty Snowballs, which is often used for comets in astronomy, really proved to be true. Most comets cavort in the Oort cloud far out in the solar system. Sporadically, they are attracted to the Sun for reasons that are as yet unexplained, and then the chunks of ice set off on a long journey towards the Sun. Some comets do not even make it all the way into the interior. They can be captured by the gravity of other planets collide with other objects, or get caught in orbits far out in the solar system. Those that penetrate into the interior will sooner or later pass us by. Some of the comets disappear forever after a flyby of the Sun, and others regularly turn their orbits inside the solar system like Temple 1. The Deep Impact mission was a technological masterpiece to finally better understand these enigmatic objects. The challenge of precisely guiding an impactor onto a fast-moving comet required the highest precision. NASA used innovative navigation and control techniques and demonstrated that complex space maneuvers are possible even on small celestial bodies. This encouraged the launch of further probes to explore comets and asteroids. After the successful completion of the main mission, the remaining space probe was also used for an extended mission and became the Epoxy mission. In November 2010, the mission reached the comet Hartley-2 and also sent a large amount of invaluable data from this bizarre world. 
The Deep Impact mission officially ended in September 2013 after communication with the probe unexpectedly broke off. Stardust – Journey to the Beginning of the Solar System If you think Deep Impact was the first mission of its kind, you'll be surprised to learn about the Stardust mission launched on February 7, 1999. It was specifically designed to capture dust particles from a comet and large amounts of interstellar dust for the first time. Researchers were keen to find out more about the composition and physical properties of these ancient materials. Our entire universe and we ourselves are ultimately made of nothing other than compacted dust. Even gigantic stars are born in disks of dust and gas. Equipped with a special capture material, Stardust approached the comet Wild 2. This Aragal matrix consisted of an extremely light and porous material that attracted dust particles without altering or damaging them in any way. Stardust reached its first target in January 2004. Wild 2, like all comets, is a relic from the early days of the solar system, and scientists are eager to learn what role comets played in the evolution of the solar system. Wild 2 was discovered in 1978, and its orbit around the Sun made it an ideal target for the Stardust mission. The probe approached the comet to a distance of only 240 kilometers and collected thousands of dust particles that were ejected directly from the comet. The samples then made their way back to Earth, arriving in the U.S. state of Utah on January 15, 2006. This day was a truly memorable occasion for NASA, as the landing of the sample capsule was the first successful return of extraterrestrial material to Earth since the Apollo missions more than 40 years earlier. The analysis of the samples brought back provided truly astonishing findings. Scientists discovered a variety of organic molecules in the samples, again suggesting that comets are indeed the carriers of the building blocks of life and that they may have played a role in delivering vital building blocks to early Earth. The scientists also found evidence of high temperatures during the formation of the cometary materials, raising entirely new questions about the dynamics of the early solar system. After the main mission, Stardust was also used for another mission. Stardust Next reached the comet Temple 1, which had already been visited by the Deep Impact mission in spring 2011 and ended its mission on March 24, 2011, after the fuel reserves had been used up. DART – Deep Impact Part 2 If you already found the Deep Impact mission exciting, you'll love the DART mission because NASA's double asteroid redirection test did much more than just crash into an asteroid. The DART probe was supposed to push an asteroid completely out of its orbit for the first time and thus show that we can fend off such a chunk in an emergency. It sounds dramatic, but we have to expect an asteroid or comet to appear on our cosmic doorstep at any time that we have not seen before and that it could hit us. In that case, quick action would be our only chance to save ourselves. Blasting a la Armageddon and Bruce Willis is not a good idea in reality because the fragments of the asteroid could be even more dangerous than the whole lump. Scientists around the world have long agreed that we need to push an impactor safely out of its orbit. This was precisely the ambitious goal of DART. The researchers chose a distant and therefore absolutely safe double asteroid system as the test object. On November 24, 2021, the bold hero set off and on September 26, 2022, DART reached the binary asteroid system Didymus, consisting of a larger asteroid Didymus and its smaller moon Dimorphos. Didymus measures around 780 meters in diameter and would therefore be a dangerous projectile. Dimorphos, the actual target of the mission, is much smaller at only around 160 meters. However, the small asteroid was ideal for the test. The mission ended in its climax when the DART space probe crashed into Dimorphos at a speed of around 6.6 .6 kilometers per second. A companion probe photographed the event from a safe distance. Dozens of telescopes on Earth were focused on the impact, and DART itself provided exciting insights into this premiere right up to the last minute. The impact was only supposed to change the orbit of Dimorphos around Didymus by a few seconds, but in the end, it lasted several minutes. It was a real tour de force and proved to us that we are no longer powerless in an emergency. DART will certainly not be the only test of this kind, and we can look forward to presenting more exciting images of actions with much larger asteroids soon. 
Osiris Rex on the trail of evil asteroids. All three probes that we have now been able to accompany on their missions had comparatively harmless targets. NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission was launched on September 8, 2016, with a far more dicey target. Bennu is considered one of the most dangerous candidates for a collision with Earth, and we urgently needed to know more about this lump. Unlike comets, asteroids consist mainly of solid rock, but they also originate from the earliest stages of our solar system, which makes them exciting objects of study. Bennu has a diameter of around 500 meters and regularly comes disturbingly close to Earth. This time, the mission was in no way aimed at a collision, which would have been far too dangerous. Like the Stardust mission, OSIRIS-REx was launched to collect material from the surface of the asteroid. In an emergency, knowledge of the composition can help us to program a defensive probe safely enough to move the asteroid far enough to push it out of the collision path. In December 2018, OSIRIS-REx reached the Bennu mission, searched for a suitable landing site, and then briefly descended to the surface, swirled up material in a spectacular touch-and-go maneuver, collected it, and headed home. In October 2020, the researchers had 60 grams of the material in their hands and got to work. OSIRIS-REx flew on and will next pay a visit to the asteroid Apophis as OSIRIS Apex. Subscribe now and never miss a new video.